go two months, two years without talking. But when y'all get back together, I was gonna virginity. Keep it. Just standing, standing on business. That's what you're doing. <laughs> that shouldn't even be the topic. You should be. I'm already done with them. I shouldn't have to be getting you know, with somebody that wasn't even meant for me. Like. Girl, they had drama with their self. I, but I, but I was always hearing stuff though. They said this wasn't for the slide. Stuff be sliding. That's what I said in middle school. Like, high school. Like, you, know I mean? uh -huh. you don't even know them for real. I mean, you know. I need a man, <laughs> baby. Like, be a grown man. Like, my mom, I hope you see this. I love you, girl. <laughs> Next. I ain't going for this. I don't think it's I like you being pregnant and not having support from your man that got you pregnant. Do you know this is a girl thing? We got to stick together. Mm -hmm. Like, 
Because you want better for yourself. And he or she should understand that. Like, okay, um, what's the next topic? Next topic. Um, thoughts on virginity. Keep it. Two mirrors. I ain't gonna lie. Two mirrors. Most people cannot do that. Most people probably won't do that. But it ain't even a hype, so. But you should. If you, yeah, you should. Marriage, like, you should. But most people don't do that. But. Yeah, I was saying it ain't the hype, but I mean, do as you please with your body. If you wanna, don't promote that. No, I ain't gonna promote it, but I mean, we can't tell them what to do. I know, but we can. But this is advice, right? Any child that's not that has, well, we even if we tell y'all not to do what to marriage, y'all still gonna do what y'all want. You know that? People, people don't say that. People most likely be like, just don't do it. Don't nobody ever say keep it to marriage, and that's the that's what's wrong with society. Don't nobody ever say wait. That's why a lot of people don't be saying wait. But people still not gonna wait. You no, they don't. I never so, see people say wait nowadays. Well, people just like, no, you doing it. it. We did it. I yeah. say wait to marriage. Oh, wait to wait to marriage. That's that's the only thing I was yeah. saying. Because virginity is people take virginity so lightly, like it's not nothing to be played with at all. Like. You gotta yeah. trust whoever you're doing it with too. Don't just be doing it with any old body. Yeah. And don't just be doing it because like Cause oh everybody, everybody else doing, doing it, it or this dude pressure you to do it. It's your body. It's your it's your choice. It's your decision. I feel like virginity is 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 pure. Like <laughs> to say you have your virginity, like that's something to keep and to hold on to to you really ready to lose it. Mm-hmm. Like it's really like. Gold. Literally. It's gold. Imagine being like 20, 25 and still having your duty. That's a big, yeah. Big flex. Big flex. Super, super. So I salute anybody that's still, you know, keeping it close. Gold and even if you have lost it already, check the one person. And I really say, still wait to marriage. Even if you already lost it. Oh, peer pressure. That's good one. I don't know. I cannot, I cannot be peer pressure. I'm not doing something I don't want to be want to do. Like I, I can't. Yeah, I can't somebody got peer pressure. pressure. Y'all do something that you don't want to do. That's not gonna make you not cool yeah. or lame or nothing. You just standing, standing on business. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Because nobody could never ever make me do something I don't want to do. Like ever. In life, like, don't feel like you obligated to do that because everybody else is doing it. That's not, I can't be privileged. I'm just, I just can't. If I don't want to do it, I'm really not going to do it. Like, you can't. Mm-mm. Peer pressure that's when people really be regretting stuff. They're going to be like, Oh, I, I should never did that. I just only did it because XYZ was doing it. Peer pressure. I, I ain't gonna sit up here and say like I feel like everybody get peer pressure in some type of way. You have been peer pressure at least once in your life. Not saying directly like oh just because your friends smoke that you smoke, but it's like so much even with social media like peer pressure is like everybody got BBLs. Why pressure to get the BBLs? Now everybody got the same shape. Peer pressure comes in so many different forms. Another thing like how even everybody dress. That's peer pressure. Because now you pressure to dress like everybody else. You pressure to get your hairstyle like everybody else. You pressure to do your birthday like everybody else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pressure is real, y'all. The pressure even be like in the things you won't even think about. Like, you just gotta be careful. You just gotta be careful when they come to peer pressure. And if your friends make you do stuff, you, they're not your real friend. They're not. Because if you sit up there telling your friends, no, I'm not cool with that, I don't want to do that, and you still go ahead and do it, they're not your real friend. Because your friend's like, okay, I respect you for not wanting to do what we're doing, and that's cool. And I'm just like, if you say no the first time, why do they keep asking? Like, wow, if, what, what kind of friend is that? And if a, a, a dude is perpetuating you to have sex or do something you don't want to do. At this point, that's a rape. That's, that's not the man. That's not the man for you. Um, how to get over somebody. I say, out of sight, out of mind. That's all I can get for you. They're not in your face. I'm not on your phone. 
out of sight, out of mind. He won't even think about him. And soon, soon enough, you'll be over. <laughs> Hello, Jesus. Hello, Jesus. I would say, like Janae was saying, out of sight, out of mind. But you gotta really want to get over them. Literally. You can't say you want to get over somebody and you really don't want to. That that be the ice on the cake. Like when you really want to get over somebody, you can get over them. But it's a mindset thing. Once your mind is set, your body will literally follow. I swear. Once you like, I don't want no deal. Once your mind is set, I don't want no deal with this person or nothing. You're not gonna want no dealings with the person. So whatever really, they try to do, or it's really the heart. Once your heart is set on it, because it's really your, it's like your heart is stronger than your mind sometimes. But once your heart is in it, your once you, oh yeah, it's over. Don't like I don't know. But the heart is the most deceitful thing. Don't follow your heart. <laughs> don't. <laughs> our heart lies to us. Like, you can say you love someone. Follow our mind. You follow you Jesus. follow exactly follow <laughs> Jesus, but follow your intuition. Like you know deep down this person not for you, and they keep doing you wrong, and you trying to get over them. You should even that shouldn't even be the topic. You should be I'm already done with them. I shouldn't have to be getting you know, with somebody that wasn't even meant for me. Like I don't know. I just feel like your body, your mind, your body, and everything about you. You know when somebody's not for you. So you getting over them. You should even. That shouldn't even be a topic, honestly. Like you should, you shouldn't even question me. You know, somebody like I already want to get over them, especially if you. It's, it's probably different for. I don't know. I get, I get, I get like getting <laughs> over you, people because it's different. It's different for everybody. It is different for everybody. Like, different you for everybody. Into that person, do you have to actually you do go? Have it's to get hard. Over I'm them. not gonna lie, that is hard, especially when that's all you know. It's hard. But I also feel. Getting over somebody, it can be hard, but you have to see, you got to look at yourself. Like, it's about you, not about the other, the other person and how they made you feel. It's about how they, tr how they treated you and how you feel about it. But some people, they be looking at how they treat them or, what am I trying to say? Some people be looking at, some people think the good overruled the bad when that's, that don't be the case. I don't know. I feel like to get up to somebody who's fooling you, just gotta want to do it mm -hmm. and just get them out your mind, get them out your sight. It's you gonna don't be hard. Over it, you're not gonna get over it. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's hard. But once you finally put your heart and your mind to it, you'll be all right. And time, time will definitely tell. So that's what it is. It's time. It takes time to get yeah, over somebody. It does. You're not gonna just wake up one day and be like, like you oh, done. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gonna have them days where you really be like, oh, I'm done with this person. Like, I don't even care. Look at them. Two, two them. days later, you crying yeah. again. It's like it's just, it just, it's just waves. It, it just but that's ways. the thing. Like that's anything in life, though. Anything in life don't take time. Like anything you have to get over, anything that that happens to you in life, you're not gonna wake up every day and be fully over something. Mm -hmm. Like it's it takes time for you to get over stuff with anything. Like it could be you fell out with somebody. You got fired from your job or something. Like you it's it's like stuff in life that you take time to get over it. Even though it might make you mad, it might make you sad. It's still gonna take you a little minute to get over it. Um, I think you talking about um high school and college life. The difference between the two? No, like I guess high school life like where you popular, most hated, quiet, and nobody Um in high school. I wish I had the high school experience that everybody had. Like, I did not have no type of high school experience. I did not really like my school, really. I didn't really have no friends. After my freshman year, it was boring. My friends, both of them left me for Girl, dead. you still have friends. Both of them left me for dead, girl. Who she, they, she always said she, she had, had no friends. friends. Who? We, we, besides boys, the boys. Besides the boys. You had some friends. Who? I used to be talking to a, a classmate. Y'all started back talking. That wasn't my friend, though. Just because we was talking. Just because we was friends. Anyways, I didn't have no really girlfriends. Maybe I had Tiana, Lorena. See, that's see, it. She thought she had no friends. Yes, yeah, she But as, as far as, I, call, I just call them associates. I only talk to them at school. No, this used to ask somebody else. My high school experience, it was, it was pretty good. Like, I met some of my closest friends in high school. Like, I really got, had gained some good friendships from high school. Love that for me. 
I can't complain. I mean, yeah, you had a nice little school. You had a little school too. Janelle just went. Where that comment at? I danced. Was captain. I can't complain about my high school. I mean, some stuff. <laughs> It was just some stuff, you know, the drama, but it's not too much I can complain gym. about. Mm, drama? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did have drama uh 12th grade. Who? I'm with their self. I never <laughs> said a word to them, ever. Whatever they had going on with them, within themselves. If it's any problems, everybody had problems with their self because no problems was ever literally came and said something to me. Literally, I never, nobody ever came to me about nothing. So. Clock that But I was always hearing stuff though. Mm -hmm. but, um, then you got enough fun and everything. And you got expelled, you got <laughs> expelled in school. She had an eventful high school Yeah, you did, you definitely did. I just wish my mom was a little bit. I wish I made a little more friends than I did, but. Right, we, I just my high school I experience, this. football team went to state twice. Basketball team in <coughs> one state, the best basketball game in history, Hillsboro versus. I'm e. so mad I missed like, that game. Oh my god! I can, I can play. Like, let's sit back and think about everything that happened in high school. I can. Yeah, the basketball games was elite. The football games was elite. But, but the school just outside school activities was fun. But the school in general, zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. Yeah, you kept really switching schools. I had the worst high school experience. Yeah, like I, I don't know how I even graduated, y'all. Not saying I was bad in school, but that's one thing about me. I never played by my grades. But as far as like me, like I didn't even talk to nobody. I didn't really have friends. Like I just went to school and went back home. Yeah, I was, I was like depressed in high school. I'm not gonna lie, cause I kept switching schools. I didn't have no friends. I wasn't involved in anything. I didn't even have no, like, not even one person I knew. Like, I went to, well, freshman year, I, I can say my freshman year was good, but it was COVID. Like, COVID messed up my whole freshman year. Then I had COVID moved. Up a lot. <clears throat> and then when I moved, I went to a new school. And then I moved again, went to a new school. Then I went back to my old school. See? Mm -hmm. I just had a lot going on. Like, I right. don't, like, high school was, like, the worst for me. Okay, now, college life experience. Realities, expectations. Um, you might want to go first. I ain't really, I ain't really expecting because I go to a little bitty college, so ain't too much I was expecting. But I really thought the like the work was going to be like super duper hard from coming to high school, but it actually it's it's tangible and bearable. So I was I ain't even tripping about nothing. Sir. I'm straight. I thought the professor wasn't going to be playing about turning in work. Not making them no work. That's a lie, baby. This one professor, she kept on re upping them assignments for us. Like, she did not plan. I'm just like, I don't know. They said this wasn't finna slide. Stuff be sliding. That's what I said in middle school. High like, school, you ain't gonna be able to slide with It just depends what school you go to, honestly. But most colleges, they pretty much lenient. It just depends on, like, if you're going somewhere like Harvard, Trafford, my school, <laughs> you're gonna get your butt whooped. <laughs> just go to a regular HBC. Just go to don't go to one that's like Spelman, Xavier. Don't go nowhere like that. Just go to a regular school. If you ain't trying to be too stressed, like if you don't want to feel like it's so serious, like my school just feel serious. Like every day you studying, every week you got a quiz, a test. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. You got to write ten thousand pages. It's just so much. You got to keep a certain GPA just to keep your money. Like, it's just a very stressful school. But, I don't know. I expect the college to kind of be, like, <clears throat> harder. Like, me, I'm a person. I don't like school to be easy. Like, I don't, I don't know. I kind of like the, the challenge. Just like, I don't know. I'm weird. I just like to feel like I'm doing something. I like to feel busy. So, I don't mind it. But sometimes it do be annoying because you just want to rest and chill sometimes. And you just can't do that. But it's most definitely the school you go to, the school you choose, and it depends what type of person you are. If you know you're an introvert, I would suggest go to like a school that's kind of small, or like that's kind of close knit. If, but if you're an introvert, go to you like a school that's kind of got like a lot of people. Like my school, I don't recommend to nobody that's an extrovert because it's not much you can do. But if you go somewhere like TSU, Texas Southern, Clark, all them schools, you're gonna love it because it's it's extroverted. 
they got a lot of stuff for you to do, a lot of people to meet and things to do. But if you a close out person, then I would suggest you look into a smaller community type of school. Um, learn how to study before you go to college. Learn how to be disciplined. And just keep up with, like, why am I giving them a whole lecture on college? I procrastinate. That's the, the yeah. worst thing you can do. Oh, my God. Do that work when it's done. Do that work when it's time. Do not wait till the last minute because then you're going to feel like you're rushing, trying to scavenge it. No, just do it when it's done. Make but that's sure. what anything, though, for real. And make sure you got your lady for quiz lead. Math the way I, 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 I ain't doing a day. If it's if it's in, but got deleted and download again. <laughs> Give it three days in. <laughs> See, this, like, well, I don't play like I need two subscriptions. Like I don't know. I feel like college is it's like you it kinda go in with some expectations, but then some things just you kinda be like, dang, like I'm really in college, like I can't believe don't I'm really in my mind. Mind. Because that would have you disappointed. Just yeah, go just going there open minded. Literally. Just going there open minded, but going there like Standing on business. Don't go in there just trying to play and just trying to party because you ain't gonna last. Right. Man, work gonna catch up to you and you're gonna be ready to drop out. So I feel like you can go in there and be like, okay, I'm gonna meet people, I'm gonna have fun, but also know why you're there and don't be wasting your time or your money because now you're paying for school. It's so. really a scam. Like the first two years, really a scam yeah. because you learn in regular stuff. You gotta learn stuff about, about your major. I can say you major is stuff that you're actually gonna do and get money from when you get out of college. Yeah, right? don't major in nothing dumb. Literally, because <laughs> if you're not gonna make the money that you're spending in college, do not try to go major in that because you were wasting your time and your money. You can go be doing something yeah. else. Yeah. Just have a, like, I would say, know what you're doing when you're going to college. I would say you have to have it all figured out, but at least have an idea of what you wanna do. Like, don't go in there and just be like, oh, I don't know. Because you kinda wanna, like, kinda know. Cause I don't know, you don't want to be wasting your time and then you're going to look up like, dang, why am I even here? Mm -hmm. And you don't even know what you're doing for real. And if you don't know, just go to a community college. That's what I would say. Like, just stay at home, see if you even like college for real. Mm -hmm. Then go to like a four year or whatever the case may be. Don't waste your time if you don't know what you want to do or know what you want to be. Yeah, college is... It's different. It is different than high school, but it's kind of like the same in some ways. More, more freedom. Yeah, it is more freedom. It's just so much freedom. The teachers is not. Yeah, it's so much like freedom. when they said the teachers not gonna be on, be on you by turning you at work, they not. This is not high school. They're not they're gonna remind. They're gonna give you that syllabus. Then you better do that syllabus. Like they might remind you, like oh. But I was saying, get, this week, get cool with your professors though, like. Yeah, I feel yeah. like that's the biggest thing. You going to college anywhere, you got to get to know your professors and get to know people because you just never know. Like, somebody can really help you out with, like, scholarships or just an internship opportunities. So try to just meet people. And you don't got to be their best friend, but you got to put yourself out there in college. And I'm still learning how to do that, but you it's really got to put, put yourself out there because it's not like high school. They just going to pass you. You're going to get along. That's college is for you to be building up your resume and like get to know people because they can help you like on down the line like what if you need a job what if you need something and baby if you need help go to office hours yes to go yeah, to office to hours we got a student we got tutor, but i stay going to office hours because the teacher's not gonna play with me literally i'm gonna teach your office seat right in front of her face literally, you're gonna see me yeah this is how i come to her excuse me ma'am so literally homework already like, open not playing yeah, don't be afraid. That's nothing. You right. cannot don't be afraid. afraid. Of it's, this is your grade, yes. your money, your you life. Class, that's don't a waste of money teacher. that you have to. You have to retake that class. You fill the class. You got to pay for it again. Go to office hours so you can pass. Yes. Like, yes. Yes. Don't play. And I, one person no has said, "Oh, I feel bad for being in office office hours every day." That's their job. Literally. That's why they're there. They doing it. They're probably looking at work. So anyway. don't be hesitant. Oh, I don't want to be. No, I go. Baby, my math teacher finna see me. No, man. Every, every, on Monday, every, she's every, going to see me. I'm every office hour. Till she closed. Everything. I'm, I'm not playing with you. Talk about like uh, how we raise our kids, how we think. Um, you know what? I used to talk about how was how I would raise my kids, and when I be talking about, I be thinking like, why was I raised? How I'm gonna raise my kids? Anyways, I raise my mm -hmm. kids like um, I don't know. I just want to be close, but not too close to where they feel like they can play with me. But I want to be close enough to my daughter or my son to come to me like anything. I feel no way about nothing. I feel like I'm gonna judge them or nothing. Cause like as a as 
I'm growing up, I used to be like, oh, I've been there. And we experienced the things, like, they really be telling us, like, mm -hmm. how to go about things and what's going to happen and this and that. Like, you guys have to listen to your parents because they more than likely been through that before. So, I'm not going to say, take your parents' advice. You know, just, I don't know. But I would raise my kids, like, I don't know. I just want to be close enough so they don't feel like they get I would raise my anymore. kids. How I was raised, like, yeah, I was raised good, so I was yeah, raised I'm good, good. close to my mama, can tell her anything, to my granny anything, like, yeah, um, I grew up didn't in lie, my wasn't, wasn't a bop, I hope my kids is just like me, like, better, but just like me in some aspects, especially when it comes to being passed around like a blunt, baby, because, these girls is it's crazy out here in the field, man. It's crazy out here in the field. But yeah, I grew up in a two parent, two parent house, household since I was born. My parents were actually married before I got. They were. Yeah, my parents married. My, my parents married for twenty five years. Last month. Dang. Last month on the 29th. That's go. Twenty eighth or twenty ninth. <laughs> They hit 25 years, but yeah, my parents been together since I was born. I never had to deal with like no go to this house, go to that house, which I'm lucky. And whoever has to deal with that, no shame, but <laughs> I just didn't have to deal with that. And uh, my parents been married since I was born. I've just been, I've been good. Like I had literally have no troubles. I had no worries growing up. I never had to worry about the lights getting cut on, cut off. I never had to worry about none of that. Like I ain't gonna say I lived the perfect life, but I really have nothing to complain about. I have the most. Parents, I feel like they were like, stable so when like, they had y'all. Like they were so stable. Like, I have nothing to complain about. I'm literally good. Like, maybe I was raised in a two parent household, and that was a very flex for me because Christmas over here, Christmas over there, birthday over here, birthday over there. I got two, two of everything. I love that for me. Like, that was the best of not having a two parent household. I really don't think I miss nothing about like not having a two parent household. Like, I feel like I got. How you don't miss it if you never experienced it? I feel like I'm, I, I didn't miss out on anything of having a two parent yeah, household. I feel like. <clears throat> It ain't really much to miss out on, for real. It's you know? not. We should still have to go to Daniel. Like, I'm going to say, you really miss out on the best of the I would say you and missed out on together. like the stability of having both in mm -hmm. one house. That's the only thing I would say. And it's a difference when your parents are together at first, then they break up. That's the difference too. Like people don't. At first, I didn't really think it was a big deal when parents like get divorced and stuff. But that actually is a lot on a child. Like when they've been together, like. Your whole, your whole life pretty much then they divorce and stuff like yeah, that's that's kind of crazy but yeah. it's a difference because with me my parents they were together so I was like five and they was both in the house with me but when the split happened it was like this whole traumatic thing because I was still young mm -hmm. but I still feel like it played like a little bit of part like how I grew up because I was so used to having both of them in the house but then all of a sudden oh I'm going to my daddy house this one week then my mama house then I don't know it, would, it could be a lot but I would say it has its pros and cons. I would say you have your pros because you get two different like raisins and households. You get two of everything. But just the going back and forth, it can kind of confuse your child. And then so I used to like one house better than the other. And that kind of was messed up on my like on my parenting because I wouldn't want to go back home sometimes, or I would want to go. You know, it would just it would just depend. Like so, I would say that's the only downfall because you. You like in between your parents and just like I don't want to go with my mama this weekend. I don't want to go with my daddy this weekend. I want to stay with my mama. Like so that could be that could be another thing. Um, but I would raise my kids like in a two parent household. I want my kids to be better than me in all aspects. Like they getting the best education. I'm putting them in private school. They're gonna do every sport. Oh, no, my I'm kids, doing they're doing a private school. I'm gonna they're to gonna be the public um, everything. They're so gonna be do, better than me. I want my kids to be. Like so set up in life that they don't got to worry about anything, but they still know how to hustle and go get their own. Like my yeah, kids ain't gonna like, be spoiled, but they're not gonna have to go through like no hard time yeah, to worry about yeah, nothing yeah, and stuff right. like that. Worry about money. Mm -hmm. Well, pray to God, Jesus. Um, I just like this is the stuff. If I was to ever have kids, like I just want them to grow up and don't think about anything, but still have their own mindset to go out there and build their life for themselves and still go get it. Like don't feel so entitled because I don't I don't like that. Right, like my parents never made me work, but I always wanted to work. But every time I wanted to put a job, they'd be like, "You can quit," because she didn't want me to make. She didn't want me to feel like I had to work because it was her job to take care of me. And I hate people that try to make you feel bad for your parents, like doing 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 a job. What they plus supposed to do? Right. Yeah, plus more like, oh, oh I had to do this. You a car. Literally. I bought my own car. 
Congratulations. I ain't never put no payment on. I ain't gonna lie. See, I, I didn't need to brag, but I've never put no payments on no car. I've had all my cars handed to me. I ain't gonna say I'm spoiled, but you're spoiled. I'm spoiled, but I've never paid for no car. You gotta pay a phone bill. Never paid no phone bill. I don't. I, I, I no do phone. feel for those people that because some people just have to do that. Like their parents yeah. just don't do that for them. So I get but that. don't make other people feel bad for him. Like, yeah, don't make yeah, 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 bad. Like, it's not my fault. Yeah. Your life got turned off because I ain't never had to deal with that. I'm just saying, people be trying to make you literally feel bad for your parents. Like, but you've never been it. through it, so you so can't. Would never know you can't really feel. say yeah. that. But it's also don't make other people feel bad for their parent for like their parents doing for them, or, like giving them life. You know, mm -hmm. that's their parents. You, I feel like that should kind of like push you to want to be a better person and to be a better person for your kids. Like mm -hmm. it's not for you to tear down the next person, but just because their parents doing for them. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think it's right for somebody to be hanging on somebody else for what right. their parents doing for them. Like you should be happy for that person. Like good thing they have their parents. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't like people trying to be little people that that get stuff handed yeah, to them. Like, we, it's that. not our fault. Our parents are doing what they're supposed to do. Like I don't know, but. Everybody live a different life. Everybody comes from different backgrounds. So I don't know yeah. everybody's parents is. If they don't got it, then they just don't got it. But don't try to throw people in the face that they do got it. Like When I have kids, I want to be like stable, married. Like, I don't know. Like I want to set my kids up, like get them credit cards when they turn 13. But, you know, or make them like, I, I don't know. Like, I want to set my kids up so they can buy a house when they turn 18. Like, I don't know. Excuse me. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just want my kids to have like... The dream life. Yeah, like not worry about nothing. Like I never have to worry about nothing or help with a bill or nothing. The lights was never cut off. But still, like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just don't want my my child to ever have to feel like they struggling or nothing under that. But I just want my everybody just everybody needs to be set up. Before you have children, make sure you stay yeah. up and got a family. Have, just have a good. relationship with their father. Don't be having yeah. no no child or no anybody. Be married to them, actually mm -hmm. get to know them. Don't have no kids soon as y'all get married. That's what people go wrong. At least get to know them oh. for like one or two years. So I want to do right the yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> You don't even know them for real. I mean, you know them, but you marriage, you marriage, you marriage is more serious than a relationship. I'm sorry. That little boyfriend, girlfriend stuff, fiance, that be like a little phase. You just be happy. But marriage is real because you actually get to know that other person. Family for real. Y'all probably moving in together. It's so much change. There's a bigger. You might already there. know the person, family, and all that before y'all even get married. When y'all boyfriend and girlfriend, like if y'all together for two years before you get married, you still think you don't know your nigga for real or your girl mm. for real after two years? I mean, you do. You say marriage changes. Marriage do change people because you're committed to that person. Like it's no, you can't just leave, break up with them. Y'all finna go through a whole divorce. Like and you it's more serious. You gotta, you gotta pay for divorce. Yeah, divorce is expensive. That's why oh, we stay just... together. You can leave for the night, but they work together for life. What? You just gotta be careful. With yeah, this marriage is a, is a real thing, boy. And I salute everybody that's married because that's a, a huge step. I don't do this thing called, like, um, I watch this YouTuber. He be like doing a thing called Fast Pass where they answer questions, but you gotta answer it fast. Like, just different questions, but you gotta answer it fast. You gotta do like a quick response, or we gotta do like a whole drawn out. Like. It's Fast Pass, like a quick response, like, you be like, so what, yes or no? Something? Like, what's your name? Pink, pink. Oh, pink. Okay. It's simple. You got questions? But these, these will oh, be fast okay. pass. Cause we answer everyone? Yeah, okay. fast pass. Who, who okay. saying? Who called them out? I guess we all just take turns. Oh, yeah, just We can just take, okay. What are your turn-ons and turn-offs? My turn-off is that inconsistency. My turn-ons is a person that just listens and um, comprehends and... You said yeah. offs and offs. So we got to do multiple or just one? Yeah, just, just, don't just do one. Just make it fast. So make it okay. fast. Turn offs is I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know my turn offs either. Like I just hate if you just not like mature. I would say if you're not mature, you're not the one for me. Um, turn ons is somebody got a good head on their shoulder, good head on their shoulders, clean and wise. My turn on like I love a man like a man like I know I'm only eighteen but I need a man like. Let me you go out and say something in the video. I need a man. <laughs> Like, be a grown man, like, handle big business. What is one thing you like about yourself? What is one thing you want to change about yourself? Um, I like to change, like, I'm so quiet and shy. Like, I would like to be more out there, like, more outspoken. That's something I want to change. It's something I like with myself. I like that I'm just like a lady, like, classy lady. Like, it never gave trashy. Never gave uh, One thing I don't like, um, I let, um, 
I tend to put my feelings to everything. Like, I be just being my feelings about everything. Like, something rubbing the wrong way, oh, I feel away about it. Like, I tend to stop letting so much phase me. And what I like about myself, um, I wish my personality, but people call me, like, I don't know. They still have a mean face. So I don't know how to really put a lot on myself. It's a lot, but I can't really think. Um, pass. I can't I wouldn't change that, like. Yeah, it's not. It's not giving. I don't know. I, I would say I like about myself is that I have a good hair on my shoulders, and I would probably change like uh, you know what? There's really nothing to change about you. It is. Well, I feel like I'm maybe, shy. Maybe within yourself, I could really be a little it. bit more out there. Like I want like Janaja was saying, but. It's, it's, I, I gotta think about that. Oh, I'll be really hard on myself. That's that's why I change. See that? I'm yeah, not hard money myself. was not an option. What would you be doing right now? Sleep? Yeah, actually. <laughs> what? It's sleep. a one in the morning sleep. If money wasn't an option, what would I be doing right now? But what is money? Like doing anything in the world right and mm, probably somewhere just chilling on a private island. I wouldn't be chilling. Yeah, yeah somewhere, somewhere just relaxing. Chilling. I don't even care where it's at. Somewhere just. Yeah, um, what is one thing you love about your mom? <laughs> that she raised me well. You did well, lady. Kudos to you. I like about my mom. She gonna keep it real. Oh yeah, my mom definitely. She if you know my mom, no filter, straight to the, straight to the cut. That's one thing I like about my mom. Uh, it's a lot of things. She is crazy. Uh. I love my mama. Like how she, she always my mama. was. Yeah, ain't no play with I she don't play. I don't play with my mama. I, I swear to God, that's the only person I would go to jail about. My mother. Like if you ever play with my mama, boy, <laughs> you know what I would do to you. Like I, would, I be, I be crying when somebody says something about my mama. Like, I would literally put my hands in. Like I swear to God, like, that's how much I love my mama. Like I would literally go to jail about her. I'm not playing. <laughs> mama, I hope you see this. I love you, girl. <laughs> One thing I like my mama, like how she's always there for us. Like she never gave up, no matter what. Like th that's the real yeah. mistake making happen. Like I say, I want this. Oh, yeah. I make it happen, mama. But I feel like that's that's what a lot of mamas. You supposed to make it happen for your child. Any like, like, means necessary. That's the thing about mamas. They they mama, always go to extra mile. Always. Like, always. You won't even know. It could be the last dollar in their pocket. You got it. Mama will lose for her last penny. My, my kid, she don't play. She, I would go through a whole she's so, oh, it's my mama. She's so, like, selfless. Like, she's so selfless. And sometimes I'm mad at her. Sure. I'm mad. Because she be helping other people too yeah, much. Like, <laughs> girl, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, um, we have to start going fast, y'all. Okay. We, well, this is not no fast, fast. fast. Yeah, we're going to start going fast on that own. Okay. What's one thing your mom do that gets your nerves? She be being embarrassing sometimes. Like, like um, when, I, when I say okay, she keep talking. Like, don't do that. Yeah, talking too much. Like, <laughs> like I said, okay, yeah, she, 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 she run her mouth too much. Talk too much. Um, what's something you want to be remembered or known for? I'll put on. Um, I can dress. That's what I am known for, really. But, but I can yeah. dance because I love to dance. I would want to be known for just being a good Christ follower. Her and a good woman. Her. A Psalms, no Proverbs thirty-one woman. I think that's what it is. That's what I'm gonna be known for. Um, if you could be one age for the rest of your life, what age would you choose and why? Thirty. <laughs> Thirty is a good age because you're not too old, you're not too young. I don't you're know. Right, I you can get a house, you can do so much stuff, but I don't know. Yeah, you don't. Young. I ain't never been thirty, so I really know. But I would say anywhere between my teens because well, I ain't paying no bills, I ain't doing nothing but living. So. Hello. <laughs> I don't wanna when you talking about 30, you gonna be in the house paying bills, paying car, no play. And I'm gonna be that age for the rest of my life, I'm gonna be straight. It's just gonna be me in my little house and my bills or something. I wanna she be like probably two. No, <laughs> probably one. No, I don't wanna be no baby. Like, I don't wanna be somewhere in my teens, but I don't wanna be nowhere while I'm paying bills. I'm cool. Matter of fact, 18. 18 to 17 is really the perfect age. I want you to feed me up. 18, 17 is the worst age. How? Was that the worst? But you, it's like you can't even do nothing for real. Like, you in that in-between stage. Eh, fast, but I'm fast, cool fast, with that. I don't really need fast, too much. Fast, so. What's the craziest thing you've done in a relationship? 
I don't do crazy. Not crazy. I don't do no crazy. We're not crazy. Yeah, we don't. We don't do that. You be talking about broke windows, chasing down with a no, no, <laughs> none of that. Me too. Um, who just like who just slip crush? Money bag, money bag. So I'm in the booth with a money bag. Right now, you got a celebrity crush? I think so. Right. I don't. I don't have a celebrity crush. You remember you used to like Tusi? His music. I never saw my like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, they don't know something crush, but mine's Moneybag Yo, Demario. Okay, come on. Fast, fast. All right. Brig. Next. <laughs> she heard no, boy. <laughs> uh, who's that? What's your, what, wait, what your idea date? What's your idea date? I, I don't know. know. I think we, we answered this before. I, I just wanted to be full of love. It don't really matter where we at, honestly. People be like, oh, we can't go out to eat here, here. Baby, just, just, I just want to feel loved. Yeah, they're gonna the Bath and Cheesecake Factory. Oh, I'll go there first. It's to death. I feel I'm sorry. It's romantic. I don't like the Cheesecake Factory. I've been three times. I don't. I don't like it, but I would not complain about going there. No, don't take the Cheesecake Factory because I just don't like it. Like you can take me to Chili's. I love Chili's. I love Chili's. We should go to Chili's. Triple Dipper. I love Chili's. Not the not you know the menu. It just gotta be um, <laughs> ideal day. It just gotta be like thoughtful. Like it yeah, can be that a I like. palette in the living room with the TV and the little. Something yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like it don't gotta be nothing. Like it's just all about you know, you know. Wait, I keep forgetting I'm vlogging too. Uh, uh, fast pass. How old were you? We had the first kiss. I can't remember. Girl, how old was I? I think I was thirteen, fourteen, one of them. Anyways, y'all, we recorded for our video. Make sure y'all follow. I think I was just Maybe I was like eleven thing. or twelve. I think. Um, my first. Um, I think I was in like the sixth grade. Okay, how old were you when you lost your virginity? 16. Too young. Too young. <laughs> too young. Too young, too young, too young, too young. So I'm going to say too young. Are y'all not saying your age? I'm not. That's too much business. Don't make me know that. Okay. Just know we're too young, too young. Close them legs. That's why you just wait till you're married. Close them legs. I was too young, too. I was 16. <laughs> It was like so. They big. called us next. What she mean by gender roles? I don't, I don't know what that means. I was just talking about that the other day. What she, what she mean? Like, what do you like when you get older? Like, what do you think? What do you think gender roles should be like in your relationship? Oh, that's a good question. And I was just thinking like the man has to be like a man provider. Period. Like a man. A man's supposed to provide as they should. I hate pay them. all the bills. Like. Pay the bills, but so the, how do you feel about 50 50? I ain't going 50 50. I don't think it's 50 50. I'll go 30 with 30 70. 100 100. I feel like y'all should have an agreement on I'm about when it comes to bills, but other than the bills, I'm just talking about some. Who? 100 100. 100 100. Like, you talking about bills. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. You pay most of the bills, and I pay parts. Like, I'll pay the water bill, the light bill. You pay the mortgage, you pay the everything else. The, the most no. expensive, and I'll pay the. Yes, that's how that's how I want my marriage to be. And if he can't align with that, then I would go 50-50 with my husband. Like I don't know. I want to think think about that when the time come because I ain't messed up with paying no bills because I I, I messed up with because we supposed to have money anyway. We have right? money, so yeah. I ain't tripped about no bills. But I ain't gonna be right. paying all the stuff and doing everything. Like we are gonna both be paying, putting in hundred, hundred, whatever we got going on, car notes, whatever insurance. We are gonna be, we both gonna be. I feel like me, if, if when I'm in a relationship, we both gonna have our side money, but we're gonna have a joint account and that's gonna be going towards our bills, our cars, our insurance, all of that. Like, it's not gonna be my man gotta do everything. Well, if my man wanna do that, then he can. But I would even consider 50 50. I say with my husband, whatever future, I would do the 50 30 20 rule, no matter how much you make. Like, if, if you bring it in $10,000 a month and I bring it in five, we gonna still do the 50 30 20 rule. And that's that. Okay. Yeah. That's good. And we're going to have three bank accounts. When it comes to like gender roles, like, I don't, I, I kind of believe in it, but I don't. Because I do feel like a man got to be a man and a woman got to be a woman. Like, you should still have your woman aspect. Like, you should already know how to clean, how to cook, how to do stuff like that. But I don't feel like you have to. Like, you don't, it's not a, your man should be able to go in there and cook something too. Your man should know how to mm -hmm. wash clothes or fold clothes as well. Mm -hmm. You should know how to do 
the little main, like, you know, the minor little stuff that me and Poppy do, like, take out of church if you have to, you know, go. Uh -huh. some, I ain't never touched no trash. Some tire no Like, I let it sit until that man come give me. Let it sit? Not literally, but like, <laughs> Baby, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like you shouldn't have to let the trash sit. No way. If a man, yeah, if a man that has, of course, but if it all came down to it, I'm not gonna be mad at my man because he can take the trash. Like I, I feel like you should anyways. But if I'm right there and I know it's full, I'm going to take. I ain't gonna wait on him to just come take out no trash. Like right. I'm just gonna do it. But Especially like you be at work or something and the trash is full. Mm -hmm. You got to throw it away. Like yeah, you yeah, to, yeah. Or you can just take it out, put it by the door or something like. I don't know. I just feel like as a man, you should know when to take out the trash. Like that's a uh, lady should not touch no trash for real. But if you have to, then that's another thing. But as a man, I don't know. I want to be like back in the old school days. Like you, you cook for your man, clean for your man, bring your man a plate. Like I like this yeah. type of stuff, and your man just provide for you. Like that's for sure, man. But she's I would want to work though. Like I would want to work. Like I don't want to be no housewife. Yeah, that's what you gotta, gotta, you gotta depend on that man. When y'all when y'all break up or divorce, then what? I don't want to be a housewife. Mm -hmm. you lost I don't want to be a housewife if I just know I got money. Like, then mm -hmm. I can sit up and be at home to do what I want to. But if I know I want to be out here getting money, like I ain't gonna depend on men to pay for this, do that, go. Get, no, baby, I'm getting my own bread. And if I feel like I want to be a housewife, then I can. I feel like you just, it's really up to you. You shouldn't be like, oh, I'm a housewife. He gonna do everything, like. If you want to be a one of a housewife, when you, once you have your kids and settle down, to do it. But you shouldn't feel like it's a have to type of thing. Mm -hmm. Child, that's one of me that can cook. Cause one, what if one day I don't want to cook? Can you, can you get up and cook for me, please? <laughs> like what? You gotta learn how to clean. Cause like, yeah, you don't want a dirty man, man. I don't know. Like now, it's, you used to make me think about it. Like I don't know, like. I don't know. It shouldn't be no gender roles. Everybody should know. You should do. You should know how to do everything. And y'all should pick up where the other person is slack. And like, mm -hmm. oh, my wife is tired. Let me go here wash the dishes. Like, mm -hmm. don't just make it be like, oh, you. wife wants to clean. Boom, boom, boom. No, like, no. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Or oh, your chick's short. Okay, I pay to like do this. Like, just pick up your slack because it's not gonna be like you know. Yeah. It's a marriage. Y'all are a team. So whatever the other can't do. You pick up and do it until they can do it. Like, mm -hmm. so no gender roles, no gender roles. Y'all work together as a team. Especially the kids involved. Oh Jesus, no! I feel like kids so much harder with kids. Oh my god, it really is. Oh my god. But I that's just, why I say you gotta know somebody, and y'all gotta know each other before y'all have kids. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you can know that person, but you don't really know somebody so you really live with them. To you with them like every yeah. single day, and I want to be. I want to know somebody like the back of my hand, like be able to wake up and I know what you're doing when you wake up. Like mm -hmm. that's why I say two years. I would probably wait like a year or so before I had kids after I'm married, just to see yeah. if I even want to bring my kids into this marriage. Like, yeah, yeah. marriage is a huge step for sure. Still giving honeymoon for me. Go ahead with your best. But stuff. you still got a whole nine months to figure that person out before that shower comes. That's when it get real though. That's when it, the nine months is when it get real. Because y'all preparing to bring in a whole nother life. That's a that's child crazy. is such a big step. Oh my god. Jesus. You gotta plan your house, like you gotta get your house in order, plan all these baby showers, get ready for delivery. That's so much stress on your body. That's so much on you mentally, physically, emotionally. Especially as a woman. Oh, my God. Baby, my man, man not... Man. Imagine you being pregnant and not having support from your man that got you pregnant. Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Imagine that. Mm -mm. How you get me pregnant but not here to, you know... It don't make sense. It ain't that enough. So you gotta watch who you have your child with. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for our girl talk. Let us know if y'all want us to do more of these. We hope y'all enjoy and we'll see y'all in our next video. Bye. Bye.